I've already checked the tires and everything. Just doing a second walk around for the lights. Looks like I need to grease that fifth wheel. I'll be sitting a minute. All right. There's the brake lights. And the four ways. Come on, four ways. There they are. All right, so let's put some grease on this fifth wheel and go hook up the trailer and go to work. Some grease on there. Now, what a lot of people make the mistake is, is by not dropping the airbags, because if I get underneath this, all it's, all it's going to do is scrape it off. So what I do is I drop the airbags to where I get right underneath, you know, where it's level. And then as I'm going underneath it, so I don't overshoot the kingpin, then I'll raise the trailer up or the truck up. Now, what's gonna happen is I missed the plate completely, which is what I wanted to do, but I'm gonna raise the airbag up before I get to that point right there on the kingpin. So let's do that. So we'll watch it raise. Boom. Now I got grease. It'll spread on that fifth wheel. Yeah, whenever you grease your fifth wheel, you want to um, you want to do that because if not, the trail will just scrape it all off and it's kind of all for nothing and it creates a mess. DOT will get you. See, so there's there's a little bit hanging, but not too much. We did all right on this one. So if you notice, I did a tug test. Snyder Ray, right? Anyways, uh, yeah. So there's that. This is stuff I use. Clean and easy, no mess. Yeah. That remains to be seen. I keep this in a caddy here in the truck because uh, in the winter time, this stuff's really hard to get out of the tube there. Um, anyways, we'll use that before we drop the trailer. Or I mean, hook up to the trailer. Feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday. That's gonna throw me off all week.